Hello and welcome to Lisa's Home Cooking, Jersey Shore Edition. Our shore house is right by the ocean, so we have a lot of seafood around here. We eat off the land. My husband and I love cooking in this outdoor kitchen because the view is always beautiful, there's water. So this is like our happy place and we enjoy cooking out here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make fried flounder because who doesn't like anything fried? Whether it's a chicken cutlet, a fish cutlet, anything fried always tastes better. I have here about six flounder fillets. So for six flounder fillets, I'm going to need about four eggs. So now that we've cracked our four eggs, I'm gonna add to this about one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, some fresh chopped parsley, I'm gonna say about three tablespoons, and garlic powder. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of garlic powder. And now I'm gonna whisk all these ingredients together. So growing up, this was one of our staple items in my house. My mom used to make this for my sister and my brother and I at least once a week. It was the only way to get us to eat fish when we were younger. And now I make this for my children and they love it. I'm going to put the flounder fillets right inside and get all that delicious egg flavor marinated right into this fish. Now what I usually do is I'll put this in the refrigerator overnight to marinate and then I finish it the next day. So luckily for you guys, I marinated one last night overnight. So let me go pop this baby in for me for tomorrow and I'll grab the one that I already prepped for you. So this is the marinating overnight in the refrigerator. What I like to do now is make a seasoned panko and flour mixture before I fry the fish. So we're gonna do equal parts panko, which is about two cups I'm gonna use for six fillets and two cups of flour. We're gonna mix this all together. Now the reason why I use flour and panko as a mixture is because the flour absorbs the egg and the panko makes it crispy. I'm gonna heat up my vegetable oil. We're gonna fill the pot about half an inch up the rim. Of course, I always use gloves. We're gonna wait for the oil to heat on medium high. So now it's time to test the oil. The way I like to test it is I take a piece of panko and I drop it in the pan. And if it starts to sizzle like that, it means we're ready. Let's start with breading our flounder. Plop this baby right in our bread mixture. Make sure every piece of it is coated nice and thick. We're gonna shake off the excess and we're gonna put this baby in. Now we're gonna wait about one to two minutes before we'll flip them and cook the other side. What you're looking for is the browning of the panko underneath the fish. Okay guys, so now it's time to flip the fish. What I like to do is just like that. See, this is what you're looking for, the browning of the panko. Perfect, golden brown. Now what I like to do is take a platter and line it with a paper towel so when I put the fish on top, it absorbs all the oil. Okay guys, all ready. Time to take them out of here and plate them up. Now look how beautiful and crispy this looks. I know I'm gonna get the comments of it's unhealthy because it's fried, but trust me, once in a while, it, you could cheat. If it means that my kids are gonna try fish, I will try anything for them to try fish. And they absolutely love this. So take my word for it. I hope you enjoyed my recipe and thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You wanna see more of my videos? Make sure to click over here. Remember to leave some comments in the comments section, but be nice. See you next time.